Today is a very special day. Number one, we're gonna turn this Pactena linked NFED half wave into this Pactena linked NFED half wave with the KNMRD mod. The special thing about it is that we're not doing this for me, nay nay. I'm gonna be giving this antenna away. Jason from Ham Radio 2.0, you might know him, he's got a small YouTube channel, go check him out, has been probably one of the most selfless people I've met in a long time. And when I first moved to Texas, uh, immediately he welcomed me out to his hunting lease for field day, or winter field day rather, then again for field day, We've traveled the country together to ham radio festivals, and uh, he's, he's helped support the channel uh, for years, bringing me on his live streams and kind of helping uh, my channel grow. And I wanted to give back. Uh, unfortunately, we all know he's very good at writing a code plug, but gosh darn it, the guy can't make an antenna to save his life. So. Uh, I got together with George from Pactena and wanted to tell him about my little plan uh, because I've been using my Pactena with, I put soda beams wire on it, I made a 17 meter link, a 20 meter link, and a 40 meter link. So we get 40, 20, uh, 17, 15, and 10 meters all on one antenna. So I want to build this for Jason and we'll take you guys along for the ride and show you how I do this. So let's do that now. First thing we need to do, take off. This little S beaner here, we'll save that for later. And we are going to take the wire off of the Pactena. Ta-da. Now we can see this little globule right here is where the antenna is actually connected. So we're gonna unsolder that and take out all this wire. I'm gonna put a couple drops of flux on here. And I've got my solder sucker, just in case I need it, but you may or may not. Okay. So the wire's out. Bit more flux on there. And I am gonna get the rest of this solder out with the solder sucker, because I need that hole to be empty. There, just like that. Now we can get this wire out of here. And this is really good wire too. I just, I, I like to use the soda beams wire because it's yellow and high vis. And we'll just clean off any excess flux with some rubbing alcohol. For my next trick, we're going to feed the soda beams wire in. We're gonna start going down and then back up and then down again, like such. And we can strip just the tiniest bit of that wire there. Probably an eighth of an inch maybe, which might be too much. And then we'll go and insert it into the hole there. And then we can solder that. So the wire is just barely sticking out. Kind of want to do this as quick as possible so we don't melt the wire. That's about it right there. Good shiny solder there. Didn't melt the wire, that's good. Now I'm gonna trim off the excess there just to kind of flatten this out a little bit. Let me go ahead and pull the slack through. And we'll put some more alcohol on here. Clean up any extra residue from the flux. And now we can go outside and cut the 17 meter length. I'm actually gonna cut all three lengths. I've measured them off of my other one and I'll, uh, I'll give you the measurements here in a second while we're cutting. I've set up this elaborate system that I call spike in the ground to hold my tape measure taut while I can also hook on the antenna and then just walk down the driveway and get the measurement so I can pull everything taut. So here's how everything is. It's just soldered to the antenna with the length of wire here. So for the first section, which is 17 centimeters, I'm gonna go ahead and actually clip the antenna into this carabiner. And when I pull it taut, pretty much gonna be zeroed out. I might add another centimeter to the, to the measurement. But we're looking for seven meters, 34 centimeters, and it's actually gonna be a 10 centimeter fold back to make a loop. So the overall length of the radiator will be seven meters, 24, but we're gonna cut it to seven meters, 34 centimeters. 
So I actually cut it seven meters, 36 centimeters, just so we have a little bit of wiggle room here. Now, because I actually want a 10 centimeter fold back, but I cut it two centimeters long, I'm gonna make a 12 centimeter fold back right now. And we're just gonna mark where that is. And then this is all just temporary right now. So we're gonna feed it through this carabiner. I'm gonna go on the last one, because that's gonna be our loop. And then I'll just feed this back through. This is, this is just temporary. And now we can do our 20 meter link. I want to note that we will be eventually crimping these ferrules on here to make the link, but I don't want to do that yet because we might need to trim a little bit of this to get it resonant. So all of this looping is just temporary. We're going to cut them all, we're going to link them all, we're going to analyze them all, and then we're going to do the final finishing, put on the banana plugs and the crimps and all that stuff. Our next link of wire is going to be 2 meters, 53 centimeters. That's including the length of the wire that we need for hopefully at the end of the day, we're gonna have a 10 centimeter fold back, okay? So I'm gonna make that 10 centimeter fold back now. And then we'll go ahead and put that in the carabiner like we did for the other, for the 17 meter. And this time we're gonna go ahead and put the carabiner in here. And another reason I'm adding two centimeters is just because of this difference here. So I'd rather have it too long than too short. Always be safe. I don't want to solder more wire onto this. And now because I already have my 10 centimeter fold back here, I'm going to cut another two meters, 43 centimeters. And that should be enough. I'll actually cut it about, I don't know, two meters, 45 centimeters. Right there. And again, we'll mark this at 12 centimeters. And keep in mind, I'm planning on cutting two centimeters off of this. The goal is to have a, four, a 10 centimeter fold back on all of this. I'm just cutting everything long. I've never made an antenna taking the length of wire from another antenna. So I just wanna be safe. So there we are. So that's our 20 meter link. Lastly, our 40 meter link should be nine meters, 86 centimeters. And again, I'm gonna start with a 12 centimeter fold back. This will be the part that connects to our 20 meter element. And again, because we already have that 10 centimeter fold back, I'm going to cut nine meters, 76 centimeters, and we should be good for our 40 meter length. I cut it at nine meters, 77 centimeters. Why not? I've got the antenna set up, it's going. So just gotta plug in the coax and uh, we're gonna check 17 meters first, get that in tune, solder on the banana connectors, then do 20, then do 40. Should be a piece of cake. Probably just jinxed myself. So the first reading on 17 meters were a little long. We knew that we cut it four centimeters long. I think we're probably gonna need to cut a little more off than that, but we're 1.39 to one at 17.664 megahertz. So I'm gonna do a little snip, 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 and uh, we'll take a look at what 17 looks like when I come back. All right, well, had to trim off a little bit more than I expected. I ended up cutting off 27 centimeters, but we are uh, about 1.2 to one uh, across the entire 17 meter band. So let's solder on the banana plugs and get to 20 meters. Now, this is our loop right here, where we're gonna make our, uh, well, loop. We don't wanna lose that. We're gonna need to squeeze this together really tight and take one of these ferrules. I'll leave a link for these. I'll leave a link for as much as I can in the description here. We're gonna slide this in. Okay, and give enough room for the carabiner to fit in there. We can go ahead and use our crimper here. To crimp that down, all right? Now I forgot my helping hands, so we're gonna see how good I can solder without them. Now I'm gonna take the plug part of the two and a half millimeter banana plug, and I always like to solder those on to wherever it's coming from, if that makes sense. There. When we get back to the shack, I'm gonna put some heat shrink on all this and tidy it up. So our 17 meter link 
is now done. Now I'm going to do the same thing for 20 meters. A little ferrule. All right. Go ahead and crimp that. Drip off a tiny bit. And this time we're going to use the socket of the banana plug. There. Now we can take our 20 meter link, connect it back to the carabiner, and link them up. Ta-da! All right, so now that you know how to solder the banana plugs on and make the loops for the links and all that stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and get 20 meters tuned up. I'm gonna solder the banana plugs for 40 meters. I'll get 40 meters tuned up. Then I'll come back with the final SWR results, and I'll also let you know what the final measurements were. Now I'll say this already with a grain of salt, don't just go by my measurements. Cut everything long and trim it down, all right? We'll be back. All right, so here's where we learn from my mistakes. I was scared that because I had to cut almost a foot off of the 17 meter element that that would make the 20 meter element too short. Yes, it did. I ended up having to make another one of these. And the length that I cut it just so happened to be the absolute perfect length in the world. I should go get a lottery ticket. We are 1.0 to 1 at 14.186. We are less than 1.1 to 1 across the entire 20 meter band. So, Jason, you better like this freaking thing. All right, I'm gonna tune up 40 now. All right, we're not quite done yet, but I wanna go over the numbers and I had to cut the 40 meter element zero times. It's perfect, just having to work out great. So, starting with the lowest frequency, we are 1.01 to 1 at 7.15 megahertz. We're under 1.4 to one across the entire 40 meter band. That's fantastic. 20 meters with our big surprise. We're under 1.1 to one across the entire band. That is fantastic. 17 meters, about 1.2 to one across the entire band. Now we get 15 meters because of the 40 meter element. Uh, not quite as good as some of the other antennas I've done, uh, kind of right in the Middle of the band, we're about 1.72 to one. It's actually a little short on uh, 15 meters, but still doable. You can absolutely use it uh, without a tuner, so we'll take that. And we also get 10 meters because of this. Uh, again, a little bit higher than I'd like. We're looking about 1.6 to one in the middle of the sideband portion, but uh, up in the FM portion where we're pretty much not gonna use this antenna, we're 1.0 to one. So uh, under two to one across the entire 10 meter band though. So that's very good, You're really about 1.7-ish is probably the highest, so I think we're doing good with this. And now that our Pac-10 a linked end fed half wave with the KNMRD mod build is complete, there's only one thing left to do. This is the end of my video. The end of the video that I've been making for the last couple days for you. Video for me? Yeah, because I told the camera earlier that ever since I moved to Texas, you've been like really nice and welcoming and open, like you're a genuinely good person. Why would you say that? Sometimes the kids gotta know. <laughs> okay. And I wanna know, I wanted you to know that I'm very grateful oh. for everything that you've done for me. Yeah, so I did something for you. And it's funny because Jason remarked yesterday how he wanted one of these. Did I? He did. I wanted a lot of stuff, so I really don't know what you're talking about. But... I made you one of those. Okay. <clears throat> oh, back to yeah. Nice. Very cool. But what kind of Pac-10 is it? I assume that's a 17 meter. Well, it's a Pac-10 NFED half wave. Well, yes. Cut for 40 meters, but you have okay. a 17 and a 20 meter link and an extra little thing. Sweet. And we need to give George from Pac-10 a big thank you for sending us this yes. Pac-10. Yes, George, thank you. So now you have, I literally have mine set up right there where you can't see it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, but you, you were using on yours, you used yeah. uh, yellow wire for just the 17, right? No, it's all. Oh, the whole thing The whole is? thing's okay, yellow. I, I, was, yep. I was thinking, yep. I thought you changed the color on the wire so you could just easily tell which is which. Nope, I just like okay. the high-vis yellow wire. Well, that's probably a good idea. And now you have one. And these are these are courtesy of Ryan. These are his little... Uh, oh, yeah, that is medical, his medical <laughs> thing. <laughs> so, I mean, that's what's holding up the bass right there, so... Oh, nice. Okay, <laughs> yeah. sweet. Well, thank you very yeah, much, You're man. very welcome. Appreciate thank that. you for everything yeah. you've done for me, buddy. You betcha. So there you go. Right. It feels good to pay it forward. It does. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> and also follow me on Twitter at K8MRD. That's right. And you can check out his little YouTube channel. It's called Ham Radio 2.0. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sticker right there on the truck. Yeah. <laughs> 73. <laughs> Thanks, man. You're welcome.